What I'm thinking about en route to a call is first and foremost is the safety of my crew and everybody else that's going to be on the scene. If I'm responding to something very serious, to be honest, I'm focused on that and I'm not thinking about my children. During a call, I think my MO, the way I operate is, is just business. There's so many things to think about. Um, what I do consider is my fire family and are we operating safely. Well, I'm the captain at Station 18, so I'm responsible for my personnel here at the station as well as the different rigs that are assigned to Station 18. Overarching responsibility. I want to make sure people come to work, we're all he happy, healthy, and we go home happy, healthy the next day. Everybody goes home safely to their families. That's my basic responsibility. VITA's specialty is that finding live people in collapsed structures. And VITA finds ways to safely traverse the entire area so that she can check everything and locate if there's anyone trapped in that space. I was used to being physical. The job definitely requires that. But it also requires a sense of belonging and getting along with your community. I treat everybody in the firehouse the way I would treat my brother or sister at home in my family. I like challenges, I like helping people, I like being part of the community. This makes perfect sense. Spend 24 seven together. Uh, my wife and I, and it's really not a joke, she says that I spend more time uh, with Vita than I get to spend with her because she comes to work with me, she goes home with me. Uh, if I get assigned to a different fire station for the day, she travels to a different fire station. She's never gonna be fixated on one place might be where the emergency is. She's always ready to go to work no matter where we show up. We see things that normal people in life don't see. We respond to calls, help people show up to someone's house when they're having the worst day of their lives. As firefighters, we do our best to help people. We're public servants. We're here in a, a job that is to be of service. You know, you might not think you have the right body type or you're a, a, a woman versus a man. Everybody can excel at this job. And I would tell everybody to give it a shot if that's what they want to do. There is no male, female. I don't see it as that. I don't see it as just because I'm a woman, I get treated a different way. But I think for the most part, when I look at the people that I work with, it's not so much male and female. It's more, can they do the job or are they still learning to be better at the job? Constantly striving for excellence to deliver great service to the citizens of the city and county of San Francisco um, and wherever we may get assigned uh, for any incidents that we travel to. A well-regarded institution. It's an amazing organization. Uh, we're in one of the best cities in the world. To be able to serve the people of San Francisco is an honor and a privilege. Someone asked me what I do for a living. I can say, I say it with pride every time. Since for 20 years, I'm a firefighter in San Francisco. People do this for a living. This is exactly what I want to do. We are ordinary people doing an extraordinary job. And that's who we are.